Welcome to Chocobo Party, the pixelated universe designed around the completion of Group Iron Man. Each episode will consist of randomly assigned challenges presented to the players at the beginning of each episode. These tiles are known to scale in difficulty as the game progresses. To add to the challenge, each account will be open to you. Yes, you, the audience member. The road forward is never predictable, but I'm glad to be sharing this journey with you. Welcome to Chocobo Party. Well, we've officially had an account land on a regional challenge square. These tiles will become very different throughout the series, but for now, we'll just have to worry about getting Barrel's Gloves. If two accounts land on two of the different regional tile squares at the same time, they will be in for a surprise, but I won't spoil that one just yet. Since this video will take a little longer to release because I'll be on vacation, I've decided to tack on a couple more challenges which I will discuss in the upcoming clips. Sorry this one took a while to release, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Well this is the start of the episode and I just wanted to have a little check in on the progress because I know the accounts are very different in terms of where they are for Barrow's Gloves and all the favors and whatnot, but we need all of the easy diaries a medium diary completed as well as all of the Zaya favors and recipe for disaster and for those of you who don't know for recipe for disaster you need 175 quest points as well as some specific hard quests like starting legends or doing the desert treasure but i just wanted to have a little checkup and show you all of the different progress i know that if i recall correctly one of the accounts does actually have rfd done already but a lot of other people are behind also something that will be a little bit different this episode I wanted to make it a much harder challenge than would be expected for a brand new account because I will be on vacation for 10 days. Now, while I'll still be able to have access to a computer, it won't be my normal voiceover setup and all that. So unfortunately, it will be pretty hard to record clips. And also, I'll probably be on mobile a lot more. And I actually don't know how to record on mobile. So if anyone has any suggestions on what I could do to maybe record on mobile, uh, let me know because I, I've never heard of anyone actually doing that. But thank you and I hope you enjoy the video. It's definitely going to be a little bit different than what I'm used to doing where I have every single clip in a video. But I'm hoping that it still works out. Yo, I just got the fish barrel on Chocobo Yellow, so now they can fish a bunch of Cambams. Did this right after finishing the last episode. Very fancy. I just got three rune kite shields from a casket. What? Plane takes off in a couple minutes, but I'm going to buy a piece of Prospector really quick before I head off. So I will be back in a couple weeks, but I'll still be doing stuff on mobile. I just won't be around as much because, you know, it's hard to record everything when I don't have my normal setup. Forgot I need to actually set up all the authenticators on the account real quick so that they can do the Varrock Medium Diary because there's a strong of security requirement. Oops, but went and did that five times over. Some agility on my phone, but got on the computer to record it real quick. Lap number 200. The Elemental Workshop 1 complete. Easy Sears Diary. Family Crest. Easy Fally Diary done. Varrock Easy done. On our way to completing these Easy Diaries, which are very, very tedious. Lumby Easy completed. 1100 total. 50 crafting. Got a neat little bucket helm, the Eddie each one, which is useless. Thank you for the coal bag, mother load mine. Karamja gloves acquired, but I forgot to record. Ah! Desert easy achievement diary done. Mortania easy diary completed. Got me some shorts in the middle of the winter. There's 50 sniffing. <laughs> oh, Chelkobo yellow has completed a recipe for disaster. Huge. Here's a bunch more quests, which I don't want to read all the names of, but you can on the screen if you want. Yay, nothing too important, but lots of questing. I found some extra time this morning and decided to bang these out just because, you know, why not? I should be productive even while on vacation, but there we go. 
A bunch of quests completed. Chocobo Yellow really badly wants a fighter torso, so I tagged along on Chocobo P while main attacking on mini Chocobo. So let's get this torso done really fast. It should take around an hour and a half or so. And then we'll go ahead and go back to questing. Huge thank you to the god Scorch Beast for carrying me and Chocobo Yellow to this torso. You are a huge owner, my dude. Banging out these quests, wanted completed, and tribal totem. Between a Rock completed. Zogre Flesh Eaters completed. A Tale of Two Cats completed. Give me the Beekeeper Gloves. Rum deal done. A lot of XP too. 50 Prayer. Very nice. Now we get broadcast in the clan. Thank you for the ice gloves, Miss Ice Queen. Enjoy the rock cake, Mountain Dwarf. There's the Pirate Pete mini quest done. Yeah! Gobby boys have been fed. Jubbly boy has been fed. More random RFD stuff. Yeah! Fix the observatory up. Thinking of the Muppet song. I got cabin fever. Got a gow tuber for Chocobo Black, which uh, I found on my main. So neat. Cold War done, but I forgot to record the quest completion. Ah! Well, I just realized that Red is a little bit behind on the questing for Barrel's Gloves before the deadline where I'm home from vacation, so I found some time this morning. I'm going to go ahead and do some quests on here as well. Yay, more questing clips. Also, I've been AFKing some Slayer and uh, got that 93k from a quest, or <laughs> from a Brimstone key, but yeah. It's nice to see the Iron Man mode is becoming a little bit easier. I asked Chocobo Black to make me some super energies for Chocobo Red so I can run through all these quests really quick and just bang out a bunch of quests as fast as possible before I have to go for the day. So nice to see that progression, but thank you very much Chocobo Black for the 30 super energies. Sam Cannon Sheep History and a daughter with a bare head on the side. It has been a hot minute since I've logged into the accounts, so I'm going to go ahead and check them real quick. The challenge isn't over just yet, but I wanted to have like a middle point before everything is over and let's see who is slacking and who will be done with the challenge by now. What's insane to me is Chocobo Yellow has actually already completed the challenge. They have Barrow's Gloves, the Diaries all done, and they have all the reps. So this is just going to be pure progress for them from now on. And look at their combat gear here. Just pretty insane. Looks like Red has all the Diaries required done for the challenge. But unfortunately, it is still lacking on the favors. They need Lovakenge and Shazian. But I'm sure they'll get those done in the next couple of days. And also, what they've been slacking on are those quests. Hopefully, they're able to finish off Barrow's Gloves before I'm home. And it's going to be a little rough, but I believe they can do it. Red is still really far ahead in combat and actually has the least amount of time played. So if people are interested in playing on Red, we still need more troops for this account for sure. Because I do know for a fact that Red does struggle a little bit to have people always on it. Unlike green, yellow, and black. Well, it looks like green has dressed up for the occasion. They have wanted to flex very badly. They are the first person to get a fire cape on the mode for our team at least with all of the medium diaries completed as well as a boatload of quests done and all of the reps. So this account is very, very, very far ahead of it. at least Chocobo Purple and Red, but geez, also 1400 total, which is quite impressive. So very nice. Good job. Just to compare the playtime, it is a total of six more days logged in than Chocobo Red, which is at this stage in the game mode is pretty insane because it's only been out for like not even three weeks yet. So holy crap, you guys are going hard. Last but not least, here's Chocobo Black, who is missing some of the favors. I'm sure they'll get those done, though, as well as the diaries, which are completed for the challenge. They still need the medium diary, but... I'm sure they'll get there. They probably just have a little bit more to go. And 208 quest points with RFD actually completed. So they have Barrel's Gloves unlocked. Very nice. They only need that one thing left, just finishing a medium diary, which is inevitable. And what's crazy about Chocobo Black is they actually almost have the same amount of playtime as Chocobo Green, and they're playing by themselves. So, geez, man. Well, I'm finally back home after an eight-hour plane flight, so let's get settled in. I got a care package for some GP to buy a Dragon Scimitar for my team, so yeah, and now we have a D-Sim. Let's go and own. We gotta finish up that RFD quest. I should follow into this portal. Oh, crap. I guess I gotta go do a bar crawl real quick. Vile smashing unlocked and bar crawl completed. Now we can go finish Whore from the Deep, and then we can get our Barrow's Gloves.
Dagonoth Mother Dead. Horror from the Deep completed. Maybe my team won't catch this, but I'm definitely going to be the one that yoinks the Zambi pages first. <laughs> but let's get that Zambi book. Hopefully one day we're able to finish this. Please give me the pages, team. I totally forgot I didn't do Desert Treasure. I want to sleep. Ah, but it's the last day of the challenge. I got to go do this. Fruit stalls for that quick 53 thieving to then do DT to then do recipe for disaster. Then I can sleep. And there's 53 thieving. Let's go do Desert Treasure. Started the quest. Hopefully I don't die any times, but I highly doubt it because I don't really care because I'm not a hardcore Iron Man anymore. But if you haven't done Desert Treasure before, you have to use lockpicks on this chest, and it's like infamous for being terrible. And so far, I've gone through one full inventory and did not get it, so hopefully this isn't too terrible. Second inventory, no way. It took me exactly 69 lockpicks, because it was 29 or 25, and then there's 25 here, and there's 6 left. Oh, nice, but jeez, that took forever. Oh, 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 oh. Guess I didn't record the smoke diamond, but here's diamond number two. Ooh, spooky, but I yeah, can't believe I died on the sky. I uh, got lucky and the rat actually safe spotted in for me and made it easy. Die, blood diamond boy. Now let's go collect it from Mr. Vampire. There's the blood diamond. Three out of four. There is 60 magic. And the whole reason I did this was so I could wizard mind bomb real quick for the Trollheim teleport because I'm lazy. Wizard Mind Bomb gets plus three magic? I thought it was only plus one. I'm so dumb. I don't want to talk about it. This is just... <laughs> I'm bad. Oh, we killed it. That was so annoying. I ate the Ice Diamond, but now we just gotta finish the rest of it. Got the Ice Diamond. Wait, what? I just got BS so hard. Yes. Failed this a lot of times. Almost ran out of strange fruit, but that means desert treasure is complete. Now I hope we are able to do RFD. Now we can do it. Good luck, us. I know the first fights are pretty easy. They are kind of weird though. Banana boy dead. And now we run away. Ah. Oh, that guy was annoying and cost me a lot of stuff. Oh, I tried to risk it. I deserve that. Grrr. Oh, yes. Only the big boy. I only used one food on this entire fight. I literally stayed from the last fight. Tunnel fire is really broken. But there we go. Boss down. And that is a recipe for disaster completed. Well, the deadline of the episode has finally come. Let's see if all five accounts completed the challenge. And then also I would like to address that the Chocobo Nest has officially lost its group prestige. Since this was a public account, I expected eventually someone to get rid of the prestige just to do stuff with their friends anyway. So no big deal, but it was killed in the Theater of Blood beginner mode for a quest. So now you know Chocobo Nest no longer has a star. But anyways, let's get into the progress. Obviously, I did complete the challenge. I got all of the diaries done as well as a medium diary, which was not recorded. But we have the Fally medium done and all of the easies as well as all of the favors. And of course, a recipe for disaster. Now I actually don't have the cash for Paris gloves yet, so we're gonna hold off on them. And I mean, I could alk stuff for it, but it's not really worth it. So this is the bank. Have some little chin boys here that I'll throw eventually. Um, got that torso as well. Uh, the Tomo Fire really was like an MVP of this episode. I'm really glad that Chocobo Green got two of them because I've never had one on an Iron Man before and. Holy crap, it's really, really useful for that RFD fight. Would strongly recommend it. And then we're looking at a total of 12 days and 7 hours with 98 quests total. Here is Chocobo Red with 1220 total. Obviously very powerful combat stats here. It's 84 combat. Almost can use the 85 combat Slayer Master, which I think is the one in the Fairy Rings or whatever. But very nice. In terms of quest points, 176. And I know for a fact that they also have completed a recipe for disaster, and they have some barrel skills, I think, in the bank. As for the diaries, they have completed the challenge and done the medium Lumbridge diary. All of the favors are done. 
and a total of 11 days and 12 hours have been played. This is the mid-game Iron Man mode that I love so much. So here's Chocobo Yellow with 111 out of 150 quests completed, 16 days, 21 hours logged in, with a total of 209 quest points. Of course, Arrest Before Disaster is completed, and the challenge was completed between Artie and Falador and Lumby, being the medium diaries that were done. All the favors are done with 86 combat. It seems like Chocobo P is the only account that's really far behind in combat. Also, Chocobo Yellow has a 15 mil bank now. And if I recall, they also have a very, very fancy item if I can find their combat stuff here. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Well, I, I think I had addressed that in the last progress, but they do have a fire cape as well as Barrow's gloves. Actually bought an anchor. I don't know why they Wait what wait Wait what? Huh? They did a good job of hiding this from me. I didn't actually realize they got this at all. Jeez. Wow. Okay then. Huh. Jeez, yeah. Oh, and a tome of water. I this is the item I was originally looking for. Wait, and void! Man, I keep finding things that are just crazy. These guys have been going really hard on this account. I'm very impressed with this. Holy crap. Wow. Good job, Chocobo Yellow. You guys have been going hard, too. Now it's time for Chocobo Green, which by far has had the most progress done I've seen in the the time played. But, like, look at the... Look at that. Like, 19 days, 16 hours. That is just insane. That's set a week more time played than, than Chocobo P. And Red, for that matter. But we've gotten... 145 out of 150 quests done. So they've done almost every quest in the game. The only ones needed are all of the, it looks like the Grandmaster quests. All medium diaries are done. And then last but not least, you've got all of the favors done. There are 87 combat. I didn't actually realize they'd been training combat. With about the same stats as Chocobo Red with 1500 total. It looks like they're mining day all the essence. So they think they want to train rune crafting. And then, just going down here, they have a fire cape now, which is very impressive, and a torso, and bee gloves, so this account is definitely the farthest ahead. Oh, and a black mask! The defender. Okay, they, they've got, like, everything in the mid-game that you'd expect, and the capes. <clears throat> Man, I just feel like I'm gonna keep saying, and, 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 because these, these people have done so much on this account. So here's Chocobo Black with... 89 combat he left me with these things in his inventory i still love the fact that he has a rune pouch i respect the lms grind there and then also just 1400 total a lot of combat has been trained with but not very much slayer so i think they've been doing a lot of sand crabs but 73 range as well looking through the bank here i already kind of scanned through it just to kind of get an idea of what they've been doing i don't even know what item that is but They've been doing a bunch of uh, farming, it looks like, because, you know, 250 limpa roots, all that good stuff, a lot of herbs, and just crazy supplies in general. This account has definitely, like, got a lot of banked experience, so I'll be curious to see what they plan to do, but just very nice overall, 14.5 mil bank, and then... On top of that, they have completed the challenge with the Falador Diary being the medium they completed, as well as all the easies and all of the favors. So they have a total of 16 days and 5 hours played. Before you click off this video, if you could hit the like button, it really would help. I, for some reason, am having a really hard time getting these videos out on the algorithm, and having it shared around a lot would really help me out. But anyways, if you could, make sure you follow the Instagrams and Twitters of the artists who make this series, as well as Sadud, because he helps me with a lot of the post-production stuff, so thank you to him. And anyways, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon with episode number five. Also, if you are interested in the series make sure you join my discord and we can get you set up on an account and yeah so anyways hope you enjoyed and i'll see you again very soon with another episode